Hello! So I'm going to show you an awesome and magnificent project that you can do at home or at school to show the parts of a flower. All you need are these right here, any type of flower. I got this for less than a dollar at Walmart. Um, you need to make sure the flowers that you choose has all the parts that you need in order to label the parts of a flower. You also need just a plain poster board, scissors, tape or glue, and some coloring utensils, uh, crayons, markers, colored pencils, uh, paints, whatever you choose. And especially your imagination. So let's go ahead and get started. Get two of the flowers out. You're going to need two flowers for this project and be careful when you cut them because there might be a wire in it. So make sure you have an adult with you. Then you're going to get the paper and draw out a line so that way you can tape one of the flowers to the left side and this is how the entire flower looks like when you have it together. There should be a tag that tells you what the name is called. Um, I want to say indigo tulip because I also want to name what kind of color it is. Now it's time to take the parts of the flower apart. You can either pull away the parts or you can cut it. Make sure you pay attention to the parts that you have depending on your flower. In my flower, I see right here that I have the anther and the filament which is attached right here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut one little piece off so that I can mark it on my poster as well. Now we're going to tape the parts of our flower onto this board. And we're going to divide the parts with a marker or a crayon or whatever utensil you're using so that way when we label them it would look more organized. And this right here is the part where your imagination is very important. I drew some leaves because that's how plants make food and I love food. Here's some stars because I'm a super space nerd. I drew some lightning bolts with the clouds and a little bit of water for some precipitation because we love the water cycle. After all, we need water to live and plants need water to live. After you're finished decorating your poster, this is where we start to label the parts of the flower. If you need help to label parts of a flower, don't be afraid to use any outside resources, whether it's a book, a picture, or even a friend. Flowers are very beautiful. Whether big or small, they always capture the eyes of a bee, a butterfly, and people. And right here, I like to draw an arrow to focus on the anther and the filament. I'm going to highlight it in blue so that my viewer can see that this part is important to look at. And at the end, I'm going to highlight all the labels so that my viewer can see the main parts of the flowers that I'm trying to show them. And that completes our project. So, as we go through this project in slow motion, I want you to think about the next time when you go outside, take a look at some flowers. Try to see if you can name the parts that it has. And if you want, even smell the flower. Flowers smell wonderful. Just make sure you're not smelling like some poison ivy or something. But really, enjoy nature. 